Okay, so today I'll be covering how to fix world models for Gmod 13, commonly known as crotch guns. Now that is caused because in Gmod 13 it uses a half-life bone structure, while in things like CSS, DoD, and other games they use different bone structures. And since one cannot read the other, it is placed at zero zero, the origin of the model, which turns out to be right there. So. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing to do after you learn how to do it, and I'm surprised nobody else knows how to do it, considering how easy it is. And it pisses me off because everything, you know, it's just one of those old things. So, to get started, you will need this program right here, Milkshape, which I'm launching right now. And you will need GCFscape. Now, I will go and show you what GCFscape is for right now you're in your Steam Apps folder and you have a bunch of these things which are game cache files now you need GCFscape to open these because what I'm going to do is open Gary's Mod content Gary's Mod models weapons and I'm going to take out the pistol and SMG model at the least you will need those definitely if you're going to go anywhere and doing this so I've already done that over here. So, they will come out like this, and you'll need to use the decompiling tool, like I showed you in the last video, to open them. So, right here is one already decompiled for you, and the only thing you will need out of it is this, right here, that. So, without further ado, I will open it. So I'll go to File, Import, Half-Life SMD. I will go into my W Models directory folder thingy and um, open this up. So this is what you'll be greeted with. You can navigate using the left mouse button to turn things around, the middle mouse button to move the panes and the right mouse button to change settings. Simple as that. Now when doing this you'll only work with the four top tools right here. Select, move, rotate, and scale. Scale sometimes, I mean, I'm not going to use it today, but it's pretty simple. Okay. Now, select things. You can select them either this way, or you can select them this way. Or you select all that. So, right now I will not touch this model, you do not need to touch it until a certain point, so don't do it. Alright, so now I'm going to go File, Import, Half-Life SMD. I'm going to go to the directory where my model that I want to fix is, which is under Insurgency, AK Test. And I'm going to open this model right here. Say yes to all, and there you go. Now, of course you can see it is incorrect and it needs to be fixed. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select this right here, double click it, I will now rotate it using the rotate tool and using the left mouse button to move it. And that's about right, just guessing. And now I'll move it using the move tool and left click on top of that model. Now, I'm going to use the middle mouse button if it does cooperate with me, which it isn't. He's oh shit. Okay. Fuck it. You get the idea. You want to center that model over that one. And I can see that I'm a little bit off on rotation, so I will rotate it. Good enough. Alright, so now I want to move this model right here on top this model. Now, the way you want to do it is you want to line up the triggers and trigger guards because your finger is going to go right there and your fingers are going to go right there. And there it decides to somewhat work. Alright, so you end up having something as hideous as this. So, since I am done moving that model around, I can go to groups and I can delete the SMGs and delete the materials of them. 
because I am done with them. All right. So now uh, that's done. It's, it's, it's all selected and everything. Make sure you do select it. Now you can go to joints, and you do not need this one. You do not need this one, and you need this one right here. So now you're going to go click assign. You can click it once, or you can click it many times. It doesn't really matter. And all right, the last step. Make sure when you are done to export the model, or else it won't save anything. So you go to export, Half-Life SMD, and now you go to your directory where it is, AK test, and then you go click on that, which save. You want to replace it? Yes, I do. And make sure to click reference, not sequence, reference. All right, so now I'm going to export again. This time, I'm going to replace the physics model right here. Save. You want to place it? Yes. Reference. All right, so now I am done with this program. You want to save? You don't have to. I'm not going to today. And that's it. Now that I've got the model all done, now I have to edit a couple things about it. Now I'm going to go back to models again. I'm going to go to AK Tests. I'm going to use this thing right here, the modelcompiler.qc file. Open it. And I will tell you some of the stuff about this. CD, current directory. Make sure that is correct or else it won't compile. Model name, make it unique. Make sure to make it unique or else multiple people will try to kill you. So I'm going to make it AK47 INS. Now with this, it can be any number of characters that you wish. No big deal. Studio, that references the reference right here. So make sure that is correct. CD materials is your weapon materials. That's usually correct from when you decompile it. Or else you have a pink and black texture. Now HBox set, set it to default. And make sure you delete these. You just need it set a default. You don't need any parameters. That doesn't do anything. Now attachments, I will deal with a little bit later. I'll show you that. Surface prop. It's always weapon. This doesn't matter right here. Sequence is always idle, which is that. Collision model is physics model right here. Now, you don't ever have to touch that usually unless you're making your own things. And now, just save it. Alright. So now that that's done, I will open up source SDK. eventually. And I will adjust the muzzle, flash, and shell eject. Now, you don't technically have to do this to make it work. It just makes it look very nice. So now you go into something called Model Viewer. Go to File. Load Model. Now first, something I missed out on, you have to compile a model you just did. So now I want to do that. Go into GI Studio model like I showed you before. Counter Strike Source. Load it. Compile. And done. So now I can go here. And I'm going to leave this open. Make sure you don't close it. And I will go find it. It should be here somewhere. Alright, so this is what you're going to be greeted with. This. Looks pretty nice to me. Now from here, I'm going to go to attachments. Here's the muzzle attachment, which is incorrect, and the shell attachment, which is also incorrect. And I will now correct these. So, muzzle. Uh, you just have to mess with these parameters right here. They always are different. Each one of them is X, Y, and Z, but they're in random order, so you have to mess with them quite a bit. So, that one turns out to be Z. This one turns out to be Y. And that one turns out to be X. Now, you don't have to get them perfect, but you have to get them pretty damn close. So, I'm going to do it at negative 13. Pretty close. Alright. I'm going to move this over down to maybe 0.8 
and move this over to maybe 0.5. Oh, I guess it's 0.8 as well. Pretty good. Nobody's going to really look at it that much, but it's still important to do it. So now I'm going to take this, copy it, put it in here, my compiler, and now I'm going to do eject. Now eject, this right here matters. I'm not going to set it today because I'm not going to put this weapon in game, but it's very important that you set that accordingly because you can have the shells shoot out left, right, up, down, backwards, forwards. So by setting that and mess with, messing with it a couple times, you can get it correct. Or you can just go in here and delete it, which I am going to do today. So I'm going to save it now. I'm going to go to GUI Studio Model, and I'm going to compile it again. Now, all you have to do here is go to File, Refresh. And there you go, it deleted the shell eject, and the muzzle flash is in the correct spot. So, if you really want to do a quick dirty test of these models, you will go to Mode Model, and I'll just load Alex. And see, I had something in there before, so I'm going to go to Load Weapon, the Weapons, and I'm going to go to this one. And you can see, look at that, right there. Isn't that nice? Just to show you, I will compile another model, and it will be incorrect. So let me do that really quick. Because it won't take too long. I will go to source SDK, bin, bin, and I will decompile another model. So I will actually decompile, actually I'll decompile the same model, just to show you. So I want to go AK test 2. All right. Extract completed. And just because I can I'll just do it again. And let me open it really quick. Make sure I don't rename it. I'll just do that. And compile it. So you see how that one is. I will load the other one, which is incorrect. And there you go. Look at that difference. Alright, so that's the end of this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like, and have a nice day.